Just after 7.30 in the morning, we're heading up to the dry matter area to do some vet work up there. Things have slowed down a bit up there, it's nice. We've got most of the dry mares in full now, um, the ones that aren't back under service. So we haven't got a lot to look at up there today. Um, got a few first scans, which is always um, something that puts a bit of pressure in the day. You want good results, start the morning off well. We'll get that done. The wet mares are a bit busier this time of year than the dries. Uh, so I'll head down there, we'll have a bit more to do there this morning. Hopefully get it done by around, well, before the 11 o'clock coverings so we can set the covering book up for the day. So, basically in the folder here is our dry mares that are on farm. Each one has their own reproductive history. Every time we look at them we note down what we see, what we do, how the mare's coming along. And this is my little copy of the covering book that comes around the crush so I can keep track. It's got each day it's got written in all the mares that have been vetted for each stallion that day, both here and on other farms. We'll head in, the guys should be just about ready to start. Now we wait for the vet. This is my the list I make up in the evenings of what we're looking at the next morning. Um, so basically so the staff know what to get in ready for us. And as we go along, I can make sure we haven't missed anything. We'll do each stallion's mares as a block. That way we're not having to, or John's not having to remember from half an hour ago what one mare was doing when he looks at another one for the same stallion and try and line them up in order that they need to be covered. Okay, first scan. Okay, so she is 15 days served today, and she had two ovulations, and she's been hard work, so we'll see how the day's going to go. Uh, so what I'm doing here, this mare's got a fairly ordinary history of getting in foal and of staying in foal, so now that we've got her, she'll go on to some oral antibiotics, which this is, uh, twice a day for five days each month, and a weekly shot of progesterone to try and keep her progesterone levels up to keep her in full. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. Good girl. That's a good result. It's a nice way to start the day. As you can see, this mare's taken a little more work than some have. If you look at a mare like this one, she's passed her final scan already. We've seen her six times and she's done with for the year, which are the ones we really like. Whereas this girl, we've seen her many, many times. Okay, who have we? And two ovulations. Okay, so this mare's got twins in her. Um, that's why we keep track of whether they have more than one ovulation at service, um, because horses um, can't carry twins. Um, well, it does happen now and then, um, and the results um, normally not great for them. Uh, so John's going to try and squeeze one of the twins and pop the pregnancy, and the other one will be left behind. Uh, if you get past the 18 or 19 day mark, they, the pregnancy will actually attach to the uterine wall or to the placental wall and then they can be a lot harder and you're at more risk of losing both pregnancies when you squeeze one. So, so we try to get that done as early as we can. And we're down to one pregnancy, which is what we want. Okay, so that's our, that's our dry mare run for the morning, nice and brief. Um, as it is in November, most of the dry mares, as I said, they're in foal now. And, um, finished for the year until they fall next year. Um, with this morning's run, we had six first scans and four of them were positives. At that time, this time of year, I'm pretty happy with that because we're sort of working on mares now that um, being dry mares, obviously they didn't go and fall last year for whoever had them. And, um, and we're down to the ones that are, have either arrived at stud late or the ones that are hard work and you know, you're never confident you're 
really going to get them. But uh, so four out of six in mid-November is a pretty good morning up here. Okay, so now we've moved down to the wet mare crush, um, which we actually run some drives through here as well. As you can see, a few more books. We have a range of mares down here. We have our wet mares, our dry mares, and we also have some walk-ins down here normally. Um, only one today, thankfully. Okay, here to Fox, two days served. She had a 37 on the left three days ago. Bunch of small ones on the right. Messages from the walking farms are starting to come in, people looking for covering toys. They're vetting at the moment as well, and so they're telling me they're looking for a cover tomorrow morning. So I'll sit there in that spot now, and we just try and work around it from there. Um, if, if we're struggling, we'll say to them, you know, can we come back, can we push forward a session, and we'll work out how we can get them all in and get them all covered. How are you? I'm well, Christoph. Yourself? Good. I'd say um, a line of flight. If you could please cancel that from Sunday afternoon, Monday morning. Bye. Once the network's done in the morning, just back into the office here and my cabin book that's been out in the shed with me. Place the everything back into the main book here and shuffle things around in there. We mark up sort of what's happened with each one, aside from the cards, it all gets entered into our system. And my book here, I, everything that we've looked at today, I write when I'm seeing it again, and that goes forward in my book. So day by day, I know what we're going to be needing in, and I can make sure no mess slip through the system um, and miss out. So, so that'll be the next couple of hours, and hopefully everything works out well for the weekend. Thank you.